All right, so this is our busted 5C collet, and we're going to use this as our 5C taper to hold our collets right here. Because buying a new one of these that's dedicated to actually doing this job is uh, $2,000. And I don't want to spend two grand uh, when I already have a perfectly good taper right there, just the gears are busted. Uh, in order to get our draw tube uh, through this back plate, though, we actually have to bore this out as well. So this is our next boring op. So as you can see, we're just about through removing the threads, and then we've got to take the uh, lip all, all the way out to this outer ring, and we'll be able to clear our uh, drawbar for our new air collet closer for our fourth axis. That's what we're trying to do. We're just boring out these, these threads that we don't use. Apparently they're used in some kind of a mounting operation for another tool mock part that we don't have. So uh, we're going to blow this plate out to fit our drawbar. I think I may have purchased the wrong bolts for this. I think these were metric and I bought standard. Can you believe that crap? It wouldn't be the first time. All right, let's get this puppy dialed in. I've gone ahead and set the uh, dial indicator to about the middle of the sweep. Looks like about a total of uh, what's that, 15 thousandths off. Five, seven, uh, yeah, we're about 14, 15 thousandths off. So, let's find our high point. I like to put the T-nut right at the top where I'm gonna whack it with a hammer. PRO shows it to be 180 out. Have it back to the middle of the sweep. And we're we'll tightened up and we'll start with we're back in business for some main tool changes to make dice. Uh, a few more days from now, I should have all the parts in to wire this up for uh, automated uh, dice changing. Alright, we're on the bar stock in here and we'll do a test run. I don't have the right solenoid yet, so I've got to uh, 
swap airlines. I got a three way two position, not a five way two position. There you go. Now it locks down there and doesn't move. Now I'll swap it. I gotta swap lines with a hose. Uh. Out. Right there's the problem. We got a busted too. Hmm, well, we gotta finish this cut. Our countersunk holes. You can tell we had a little galling there because I was trying to make a worn out titanium cutter work for aluminum because of uh, being lazy and I'm going to change the bit out. So, should have changed it. Oh well. We'll clean this up with fly cutter. And there's our counterboard holes for our set screws for our tool holder. Now we're going to cut our slot right here. All right, so the last thing that we have to do is uh, tap these five holes with some set screws. So this is a linear actuator. Apply air to this end, it extends. Apply air to this end, and it retracts. We're gonna weld, or say weld, we're gonna bolt this cheap basket from uh, your favorite local uh, office supply store onto here and use it for a poor man's parts catcher. So, this is the Tormach I.O. board. Uh, they came out with this a couple years back, and we're going to use this bit of kit to power our automation project on the uh, 770. So, uh, it comes with four inputs and four outputs. Uh, we're not going to use the inputs in our application, but we are going to use these top two outputs uh, that are relay driven uh, to run our uh, couple 24 volt uh, DC solenoids uh, to open our air collet closer and then to uh, run our. Uh, linear actuator for the uh, parts catcher. Um, one undocumented feature that they don't tell you about in the instructions is this little dial right here. So you can put up to four of these boards on a Tormach uh, to get you up to 16 different inputs and outputs. So uh, the first position is going to get um, is going to get you P0 through P3 and then the uh, second position will get you P4 through P7 and so on and so forth. All you got to do is set each board to a consecutive position on that dial. Now they're all USB driven and they do work through a USB hub. So uh, let's go ahead and get this board installed on our 770, wire it up, and let's see it actually move some uh, air collet closer and parts catcher.
Bigfoot. Pony 